everyone, welcome to another video. Following on from the video that I did on Sunday, I wanted to come on here and kind of, I'm starting this process of evolution of the channel. And I did say to you, I don't know whether it was in the last video or the video before, but I, one of the questions I said to you is, how do you feel about hauls? Do you still enjoy them? And I had an overwhelming response, which was, yes, we still really like them. And I'm glad because I enjoy doing them. So in this video, I'm going to be doing a, a, a clothing haul, but I'm also going to talk to you. You know how I said in the last video that one thing I do still want to talk to you about is prices of things. This feels really pertinent to me in this current climate. And so I'm gonna be talking to you um, just a little bit about some things that I actually do wish I bought before the price rises, because now they're at a point where I can't really see myself ever buying them. And I think it's a real shame where things have gone to in terms of prices of things. I think price rises have just been insane the last couple of years. And I think it's really changed the luxury landscape. So I'm going to talk about that um, and kind of do this haul at the same time. Starting with clothes, everything is from the same place. Everything is from a place called Goelia. I love this brand because they are conscientious. Their products are affordable. But also the other thing I love is that the composition and the materials that they use are quality. So I'm going to start with, actually, I'll start with the jacket that I'm wearing. I'm not sure, actually, on the composition of this because I'm wearing it and I don't know where the tag is, but I'll put the details in. Um, I would imagine it's a wool mix. A lot of the materials they use are like wools, cashmeres, mohair, silk, cottons, acetate. So there was like a, um, a really big mix of quality materials. So this is the first thing and I'm wearing it with a pair of gorgeous cotton jeans, which are very high waisted. They're, they pull up, they really pull you in and they've got an elasticated waistband, which I really like because it doesn't look cheap. It looks like it's, it looks fashion as opposed to you've got to an age where you need an elasticated jean, <laughs> if you see what I mean. So, but I don't have those right now because I've worn them so much they're in the wash, but they are gorgeous. The other thing I was gonna show you is this. This is 100% wool. And for, do you know what? For the fact it's 100% wool, the price of it, I think is really reasonable. You can wear this as a jacket or as a cardigan. I've worn it as a jacket because that's personally how I would choose to wear it. It's a creamy color, it's not quite white, and it's got black trim on it with really nice, like Chanel style buttons um, on the shoulders, down the front, on the pockets, and also on the cuffs. Really, really like that. Then the next thing is another knit, which probably out of everything is one of my favorite things actually. It's this, and close up, can you see it's got a faux collar on it with embroidery details there. It's perfect for autumn winter like this is really thick really heavy wool but it's not scratchy it's really really soft um this however is a more fine knit so if you like to layer but you want something pretty um like for me i've always said when it comes to autumn winter one thing i don't like is having to wear big thick oversized jumpers um because it makes you feel bulky um, that kind of thing for me is perfect. And it's really cute as well. I like it with the collar. Another favorite of mine, which when I tried it on, I was confused because get this, see the collar and also it's got really nice cuffs. The collar and the cuffs came in a separate little drawstring bag. And then I was like, oh, they, they button on. So you, on the reverse side there of the collar of the dress, you button on the white collar. So you could wear this as a coat, depending on your sizing, you could wear this as a coat over some skinny jeans, remove this so it doesn't look like a dress, or you can add this on and the cuffs and make it look more like a dress. It's got a slight sparkle to it. it this is a wool mix as well. Um, it has a sparkle to it with some sequins running through, really nice buttons. Um, and for me, this is the kind of thing that I would like to wear, like on a Christmas day. You know when you're cold, so you want to wear something warm, because again, this is a thick wool type material. You want to wear something warm, but something glam at the same time. That for me is perfect for it. Now I have something else, which let me show you this as well at the same time. 
This is a dress. This is another wool mix dress and I think this has mohair in it as well. I'm pretty sure. Mohair, yeah. So it's a wool mix with mohair in it. It's, again, like everything else I've shown you, this is all from their uh, full winter collection. So bear in mind, everything's like quite weighty, quite heavy, very warm. Um, this has got pockets on the front, just at the top there. Pockets just further down as well. But what I liked about that is that also came with a little drawstring bag. When I opened it, it has this shiny patent little belt that goes around the middle. You can wear it with the belt or you can skip the belt entirely. I personally really like how it looks without. Well, it looks good with as well, but I, either way, it's a nice added touch. And that's another thing I do like about their items is that very often you order from there and you'll get like a drawstring bag that comes with an item and you'll open it and there'll be a belt in it or like the collars and the cuffs that went with that black dress I showed you. You know, really nice, really nice stuff. Oh my God, this is another thing I have to show you. I'm really excited about this. This is one of my favorite things. This is a jacket that also comes with a pair of shorts and this is a set. I love the style of it. I also love that in the winter, you can swap out the shorts for trousers or jeans and just wear this jacket on its own. It's gorgeous quality. Let's have a look at what it's made from. Acetate. So a really good quality material. Also comes with the shorts, as I say. I like that you get both in there. Really good for like a glam night out or if you're going on holiday and you want something slightly warmer for in the evening. It's not as thick and woolly as a lot of these wool items, bear in mind, um, but it's just, oh, I love it. And then the final item is this, which is a jacket that's not designed to be done up. You're meant to wear it loose. This is also a wool and mohair mix. And I have styled it here with the jeans that you saw earlier. If you wanted to make this look more edgy, you could wear like a black crop top underneath it, or even some leather jeans, or leather trousers. Um, or you can make this look more um, classic with something like that cream jumper with the collar on it that I showed you earlier. You could wear that underneath this. Um, it's thick, it's heavy, it's quality material. It's got little bits of gold running through it, little metallic threads, and I just think it's gorgeous. So that's the haul. That's some of the stuff I've got to show you. Now let's talk about um, stuff, <sighs> stuff I wish I bought that I'm not gonna lie is on my mind. Now, I know a lot of us, you're here because you're into luxury. I, I get it, So same here, you know, of course. And so I think to a degree, you never get to a point where you've got everything. I mean, a lot of you have, I know a lot of you have, but then something new comes out and it catches your eye. So one thing that I wish I purchased before the most recent huge price rises is another Lady Dior. The medium size is now over £5,000. I love that bag. I wear it to death, but I can't justify over 5k for that bag. I don't feel like it's worth it. I don't feel like it's worth fi over 5k. I think it's £5,300 now and I just can't justify it. Dior had like their biggest price rise ever back in July, I think it was. And some of their bags went up by over 600 pounds. I did a video on it. Um, and I know the way price rises go, you know, they're not gonna stop. You can moan all you want, but they're not gonna stop. Uh, but the question is, where are these brands gonna go to? Because I look at Hermes and you can get some of their top bags for 10K. And they don't seem to have, I, I know they do have price rises, but they don't seem to have the huge price rises that the likes of Chanel have. And Chanel are gonna overtake Hermes, if they haven't already, when it comes to their jumbo, their jumbo classic flap, which is now over 10K. So for me, I do wish that I'd bought a couple more Lady Dior's before they hit 5,300 pounds, yeah. I do, I do wish that. And whenever I see that bag in the store, I, it does catch my eye. I do really like it. And I do look at it and think, yeah, I kind of wish. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't pull the trigger now, but I, I would have done a couple of years ago. The other thing that I'm very glad I did buy 
is the Dior book tote. I bought mine when it was 1,950 and I remember I bought it the day before the prices were due to go up. So do you remember Anne Lee, who used to be my salesperson in Dior? I remember him telling me, because I've been looking at the bag, but I didn't do it. I remember him saying to me, mm, there's gonna be a price rise tomorrow. And so I, I was free that day. So I went in, purchased it. Best bag I've ever bought. I signed the Lady Dior. Both of those bags I use to death. My book tote, I use it pretty much daily when I go to the gym. Fits all of my stuff really nicely. It's very hard wearing. I've got a base shaper in it so the, the base doesn't sag or anything. It's a trooper, that bag. But would I pay the new price for it? I feel like that bag is now two, definitely 2K, maybe 2.5K. I wouldn't pay that money for it. Even though, and here's the thing, the small size has caught my eye. There's like a small size that it comes in that I do really like, but for a bag that doesn't even have a lining, I can't justify the new price. I just can't do it. Then there is something from Chanel, and it's a medium sized classic flap. I have got one and I have it and it's vintage, but there is a part of me that wished I bought the medium classic flap in black when it was a lot less than it is now. You know, I remember when the medium classic flap was in the 3000 pounds mark bracket. I wish I did it then. I don't know why I didn't do it. It's, you know how there's always something else that you'd rather have and you think, oh, that the medium classic flap, it will always be there. I'll go and get that another time. But I wasn't really thinking about price rises and the effect that was going to have on it. And that's another bag that I do wish I bought because I now, no way, no way would I buy that bag for the new price. What is it? 8K or more, which wouldn't do it. And then the final for me, although this bag, although it's had a price rise, I still feel it's reasonable. I mean, it's as reasonable as these bags go. You know, when you're looking at a Lady Dior that's 5K plus and you're looking at a classic flap that's 8K or 6K or whatever plus for the small size, actually, this is not too bad. It's still extortionate. It's still a lot, but it's not too bad. And it's the Fendi Baguette bag. I already have one and I got it in the fabric and I love that bag. I'm so glad I bought it before the price went up. I still think you get loads of bag for your money though with Fendi. If you go to Fendi, and I know the brand isn't for everyone, but if you go into Fendi, you, for like 2K, you, I know it's a lot of money, but it's not five or 10, do you know what I mean? For 2K, you can go in there and get a lot of bag for your money. Like the Fendigraphy, the, like the, the baguette bag is around about 2K from memory. Then you've got the, not the peekaboo, because even the small size is now in the 3000s. But you know, there are still bags in there that you can get for those sort of prices. Are there any bags that you really wish that you bought back in the day? I know there will be, I know that there, please let me know in the comments. If you have enjoyed this, which I really hope you have, come and join me in another video. I will link to two here and here. If you can't see them, it's because YouTube's broken. It's been doing this recently. If you can see them, amazing and hopefully I will see you in one of these.